Hey guys. So today we are in the same space. Um, we're actually in my bed right now working on some stuff going on. Um, my bed has been pretty nice for the fall and spring meeting. And so yeah, I'm not really in any shape. So I'm going to just really just chill on my bed to do this video. Um, so if you can tell by the title, this is a um, kind of just like some questions slash review. Um, I've had this product for a little while, but I've kept on just like packaging and stuff because I wanted to do a video about it. Um, and this is the OCC Lip Tar in new packaging in a ready to wear liquid lipstick. Um, and I got the color Sebastian, and I've been eyeball fucking this color for like two years. So I'm like, oh, I, should, I love Sebastian so much. And it's funny because, like, that's my brother's name, Sebastian. So I'm always like, I should just get that because we're Irish. I don't know. So I went on OCC.com. Um, having one of my retail therapy times of the year. And uh, I was like, fuck it. Selling 15 bucks for an OCC lip tar from OCC. And I'm pretty sure that the shipping made it to 20 bucks even or around there at least. And I would just like to say overall, the deal is like suck. Like, I've had some cards before. I've had two. I bought Pagan and Envy? No, it's just called Envy. Um, but they were the fall collection from last year. They came out with Techno Pagan, and I didn't like Techno Pagan because I thought it was too thick and it just didn't look right on my lips and it came in a weird color. I just wasn't a fan. But I bought Sebastian because I've been really into the whole grayish lipstick lately, and I really loved it. And I've just been like buying that lipstick for like, nobody's business. This is actually my newest color that I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I love it. I love this brand, and I'll be separate video about all of these people, all of the products that I own, but I own by them after the holidays because I'm feeling them more and I'm living way more. Anyway, that being said, um, so this is Sebastian, and if you can't tell, this is a really small tube. I have a lot of liquid lipstick, and this is fucking tiny, okay? So, like, this packaging is what I think like Jeffree Star, um, Makeup Monster, and Pretty Zombie, and all of them should use because it's small. You can fit quite a few lipsticks in here. But, like. Uh, okay. So, it came with the lip tar, obviously, that was in this package, and it had some really interesting colored paper. Um, it also came with, like, a business card and, like, a shade thing. It had a bunch of, like, the ready-to-wear shades on it, but not swatches of them, which was pretty retarded. But, that being said, um, I will never buy a ready-to-wear lip tar again. Um, I will probably buy Sebastian in the regular lip tar, if they still have it available, and just squeeze it back into this tube. Because this is 0.14 blue down. milliliters. Okay, so <laughs> the regular lip tars are 10 milliliters. Not a joke. When I went, I um, actually took my lip tars and then took them out of their original tubing because I hate it and I don't like using brushes. I prefer dough foot applicators, so I bought empty lip gloss tubes and put the lip tars into the tubes and I had to make sure that they were the right amount so that I didn't, you know, have all this fucking lip tar and you know what but I don't want to just clear up my face and have like lip tars and then fucking anyway. Uh, so the fact that there is so little fucking product in this is absolutely ridiculous. Now that's the actual product itself. I've used the lip tars before and I noticed with different shades they dry differently. Um Hayden, I feel like you need so much of it, and it's very hard to like get a very sheer coat of it to get it to like be a lighter purple. But it takes very little time to dry. Um, and then Envy, it it 
it takes an age to dry and get all over your teeth, which is horrible. I love that color, but it's so hard to wear just because it gets all over your teeth. Like, I'm not talking like a little. I mean, my, my teeth was stained blue most of that day, and that was not a fun time. Um, now I've worn this one, and it's a gray, so if it gets on my teeth, it's really not that big of an issue. Um, and um, this stayed tacky all fucking day. Like, all day. And I, I hate tacky lipstick. This felt very much like a gloss. By the end of the day, it was a lot more, like, chill. But, um, when I put this on, I feel like I need to put on a translucent powder. And I don't particularly enjoy it feeling that way. Um, I do that with my two dollar liquid lipsticks. I don't want to do that with my more expensive lip cards. Um, the color is fucking phenomenal. I love this color. I wear this simply for the color. And I set it with a translucent powder, but I also, like, once again, I don't feel like I should have to do that because it's a $20 product. Um, that's 14, or 0.14 for an ounce. Like, that is ridiculous. And the packaging is lovely-ish. Um, there's nothing special about this bill foot. It's fucking tiny. Like, I guess it's good for a travel thing, but, like, ready-to-wear should just be, like, a regular lip gloss too, for fuck's sake. And I'll swatch it for you guys. Don't mind that. I was playing with some eyeshadow earlier, but it's a really pretty color. I fucking love the color, and I swear if it weren't for the color, I was never wear this fucking lipstick. But... Um, so, final thoughts, I, I love the color, I wish it would dry quicker on the lips, like, this is so thick that it doesn't dry, and that bothers me so much, so much, like, it kind of feels like it needs, you need to pull it back a little bit, it needs to be a little bit dirty, or it can be used on a doe foot, um, and that being said, this is thicker than the other cars that I had, and those were in the regular shoe. Um, the other thing that came with it was this little sampler, and I don't know what color this is. Um, it says interlace on it. I don't know if that's the color. I haven't tried this. Um, it's real peachy. Kind of that mixed tea. Okay, so I just put that next to Bastion, and it's real peachy. It's the little one right here. Um, I will never wear that color. Just saying. Uh, that, that will look like shit on my skin. I might give this to Mariah. She can wear more my stuff than I can. Um, but yeah, all in all, packaging. Why is it only four blue dollars? Like, why, why is it only four dollars? Why? Why? That is ridiculous. Uh, that, that infuriates me. I was actually really upset when I opened it up. I was like, this is really small. And I looked at the building and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Whatever. Um, I like the look of the packaging. I really like the OCC, like, little emblem is on it. Um, and I like the fancy ingredients to have the actual packaging. That's something that's been kind of like a huge thing for me, especially with my allergies. Oh, hey! There's like a bunch of red, but go you, OCC, you didn't use red 40. That would have really sucked. I'm like definitely allergic to red 40. Um, but yeah, all in all, the product's not that great, the, um, wear time is pretty long, but like I said, it's really tacky for a really long time, and that bothers me so much, and, um, you don't really get that much. So, I would just say stick with the original OCC Lip Tarts, 
Um, I don't know if this is a different formula from the um, other ones. It still smells the same. It still smells like wood product. So that hasn't changed, but I, I feel like the formulation is different. I feel like it's not worth what you're paying for it. Just get the original off with tires. And if anything, put them in a different shape. Like, a lot. But yeah, that, uh, that was this week's video. And I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I've been doing so many different things and just dealing with some personal issues. And it's been crazy. So I thought I would come and talk to you guys for a little bit. If you would like, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit the like if you'd like. Um, if you'd like to stay tuned for more, you can always hit the subscribe button. I will leave links to my Instagram and my Facebook fan page in the comment stuff or the description below. If you were all ever like wondering about makeup stuff, um, I post makeup stuff on Instagram way more than I do anywhere else. So you can always hop on there and like. So, uh, yeah. Have an awesome night, and, uh,